Campbell Town, Delaware for a matchup between the number three Dover Senators in our Super 7 for Class 3A. And just outside that top seven, the home school here, the Apoquitamic Jaguars. I'm Pat Garianis in here with Nick Halliday. And uh, Nick, this should be a good night for football. It's starting to finally feel like fall a little bit. It's you know kicking off at about 75 degrees, but we're gonna taper down into the low 50s tonight. That chill's in the air, and we're finally here, man. Week two, week three for some teams, uh, including yeah. Dover. <laughs> but um, no, it, this is a beautiful night for football. Yeah, and as you said, that week three for Dover, I think that kind of gives them a little bit of an edge tonight. Um, but you know, to talk about, oh, Ben's already in. Nice. Talk about the, uh, sorry, I had to make sure the camera guy got in. Um, but, uh, yeah, to talk about the air, the crisp to this morning, I kind of almost needed a uh, hoodie, you know. I was ready yeah. for that hoodie weather. But uh, you got you got the Eagles playing tonight. You yeah, know, man. second week of the NFL, high school is rolling. Couldn't be happier, and, and you're right. It's a great night for some fall football. Absolutely. We'll start with the visiting Dover Senators. They got they started their season off. They, of course, they visited us on Wednesday or last night yes. on Delaware mm -hmm. Live Sports Weekly, uh, Coach Chip Knapp and company. And you know they started their season off, and they talked about two out-of-state opponents: West Philadelphia, uh, out of obviously Pennsylvania, and Curtis High School out of New York. Earned themselves two impressive victories in the first two weeks of the season, Nick. And they were led um, uh, really in the ground game, but also made some efforts through the air as well. Yeah, I mean, Cosme, we, I don't have um, too many stats from the West Philly game, but um, he, did, uh, he didn't throw any touchdowns in that. But he was 7-10 for 109 yards and a touchdown and one interception with a long of 43 in the game versus Curtis. So uh, Cosme used his arm. I did see some highlights from the West Philly game, and he had a couple of really nice receptions, no passing touchdowns, which was – led by the, the ground game, which we're gonna see today, of now a double-headed monster of Shamik Morris and Juwan Kilby, even though Kilby's your bell cow. Absolutely, Kilby has been tremendous through the years. Now, really the third year of him leading the way on the ground, Nick, and you know, through two games, he's leading the way. He's got over 150 uh, yards rushing, including 136 in game number two. Yeah, uh, and he also had a, a reception in that game too. So now he's being multi, you know, faceted coming out of the uh, backfield there. Um, and in the other game against West Philly, he had an 11-yard run and a 46-yard run, and the 11-yard run was actually very impressive. So, you know, right now you're looking at three touchdowns in two games. Absolutely. And, you know, you talked about Shamik Morris. You got the two-headed monster there, but they're not limited to just the ground game. Obviously, uh, an elite wide receiver and junior, John Parker. Yeah, I, I mean, Parker is, when you talk about one of the all-around athletes around here in the state of Delaware, John Parker is going to come in there. Not only does he take the punt and kickoff returns, but he's also an elite athlete um, and receiver. Uh, and you got to watch out for him. And, you know, there's there's really three big playmakers on this team. And adding the, the, the youth of Morris, even – makes this Dover team even more uh, of a, you know, added weapons and makes them even more of a potent offense. Yeah, Morris, a sophomore. Uh, we've, we've mentioned sophomores a lot in our streams through, uh, through three weeks, and it's no difference with him. It's a star-studded class throughout the state of Delaware. And, uh, you know, then you look down on, on that front. You got a, a few different guys that are really stepping up for this program. Daniel Shockley, who was on the show last night, the big fella does a great job up front. And Michael Stevenson, the junior, really is a star up front for Dover. Yeah, I mean, they got serious Division I size with those and athleticism between those two kids. And you only need one, but with two on the same team, man, you know, we've seen that. And then you got the running backs behind them. It's going to be tough. Uh, Apo going up against this 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 big line of the Dover Senators. And now we'll, we'll switch gears. We'll talk now about the home team, the Apoquitamic Jaguars. It's a program that has been getting better year in and year out under Coach Timps in the last few. And they've got some firepower. Dylan Griffith, the junior, and uh, obviously in, in the air game, they got a Gregory Nielsen as the sophomore quarterback. Noah Hoff has done a great job as a receiver, but this Very team really good. starts and finishes with the ground game of run DMC, Daniel McConaughey, <laughs> the senior now. Yeah, I, I mean, in game one against Odessa, um, it was all McConaughey. I mean, there was a nice 67-yard pass from Nielsen to Hoff 
who you just talked about, but McConaughey nine yard, McConaughey seven yard, McConaughey uh, 11 yard. Um, and actually Hoff did throw, Nielsen threw two touchdowns to Hoff for, you know, for a total of like 118 yards. So, I mean, they're doing it both ways, but it does start with the ground game with Run DMC. Yeah, he is a spectacular player for sure, but they've been able to spread the ball around a little bit this year. And you look on the defensive side of the ball, Dylan Griffith, guy who led the state, he's now junior now, he led the state in interceptions as a freshman. He now transitions into an upperclassman. He's elite in that secondary level. You got the young sophomore, Edge Von Brandt, as an outside linebacker. This is a, a defensive attack that has some playmaking ability back there. Yeah, Von Brandt, I mean, you know the name from his brother being here as a, as a you know, running quarterback who, who mm -hmm. after they let him loose, just went wild. Um, you know, so he's the younger brother of him, and Edge has always been on the defensive side of the ball, but I wouldn't be surprised if they don't start throwing him the ball a little bit too if they got him in the offense because of the athleticism of, 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 of those kids. So, All right, we are down on the field, ready for coin toss action. We're going to take our first commercial break. When we come back, we'll let you know who won the toss, who's receiving, and get Nick's keys to the game here between number three Dover and the Apoquinimic Jaguars right here on Delaware Live Sports. The things that matter most happen right in our own backyard. Our neighbors, our schools, the places we go, and the people we know. And now there's one news outlet where our story is told. Delaware Live. Locally owned community-based news. Free to every reader. Because Delaware's future belongs to all of us. Quality journalism we can trust to help us take on the day. Delaware Live. Our state. Our news. Our home. The things that matter home, your community. It's not just where you live, it's where you belong. At Dover Federal Credit Union, we understand what it means to be local. We started here and we're not going anywhere. We're as local as it gets and we like it that way. We're not just a financial institution, we are the local credit union that you can trust. Local people, local decisions. Dover Federal Credit Union your home, your community. It's not just where you live, it's where you belong. At Dover Federal Credit Union, we understand what it means to be local. We started here and we're not going anywhere. We're as local as it gets and we like it that way. We're not just a financial institution, we are the local credit union that you can trust. Local people, local decisions. <laughs> on Kirkwood Highway, so I knew that they existed. We stopped in the showroom. We just clicked, like from day one. They did a total kitchen renovation for us. Ferris was so organized. They were on top of everything from day one. Always here when they said they would be, always on time, kept to the schedule. The level of comfort speaking to everyone that works at Ferris, they were just super friendly, easy to talk to. It was like they were friends, not you know, people coming to work on our kitchen. The room is totally transformed from what it used to look like. To have all this seating now and the big table, the bench seats, it's great. I love coming home and just walking through the laundry room into the kitchen every day. It was just a great experience. We loved ours. I High Five Hospitality, founded in 2004 when three guys teamed up to introduce the Buffalo Wild Wings franchise to Delaware. To date, they operate eight Buffalo Wild Wings in Delaware, Maryland. Also the Stone Balloon and Limestone Barbecue. And let's not forget, Egg Spectation. And five Jersey Mikes throughout Delaware. High Five Hospitality's mission is to operate five brands that serve high quality products with exceptional hospitality. Hi five. Welcome to Premier Physical Therapy and Sports Performance. We're a locally owned outpatient physical therapy practice with convenient locations in all three counties in Delaware. 
At Premier, we have experienced physical therapists with advanced credentials, but their hospitality, passion, and enthusiasm is what makes the difference for you. Find our convenient locations at PremierPTSB.com. You may have tried physical therapy, but have you tried Premier? kickoff here at Appaquinimic High School. It's Dover, it's Apo in a tightly, hopefully contested battle here uh, between these two schools and we promised it. Nick, keys to the game here as we head into this matchup. For Apo, I think it's uh, making sure you don't get one dimensional, one dimensional with just McConaughey. Throwing the passes, they're gonna have to make sure they get Hoff involved and then blocking trying to stop this big defensive line for Dover and giving holes for McConaughey to run through and time for Nielsen to throw. Absolutely, and we are set, ready for kickoff. Dover will be receiving here as on to kick this one off is number 30, Christian Towns. Back deep for Dover, number one, John Parker. You see him as uh, the toes on about the two yard line. Which tells Ready me this go. guy can kick, huh? Towns gets his team set. Pat for Dover, I, I like the Cosme. I think Cosme's gotta have a good game being able to get the ball in the air as well as just running too. There's a pooch kick. They're gonna get the ball at about the 24 yard line. Nice tackle made by number 21, Donovan Griffith. Another Freshman one. Freshman coming up and making a play as that ball was retrieved. Uh, by the Dover up man, Jamil Williams. And we saw the Griffith uh, mom and dad on the way up. All right, here we go, Nick. Dover offense, first look at him this year. Parker, Kilby, and Cosme. It was a killer triplet last year for yes. a team that made a state championship appearance last season. And they're going to be looking to repeat, Pat. They want to get back there. They're hungry. We'll start in the gun. A little zip motion. They go to Kilby up the middle. He breaks through, leaps over one. He's got first down yardage up to about the 40-yard line. So 15-yard carry on first down there, Nick. That's just right up the gut. Yeah, I mean, that's what you're going to get. They better be ready for a healthy dose of Jaquan Kilby. And they will hurry. No huddle offense here under head coach Chip Knapp, formerly of Wesley College. Here's a speed sweep option. That's good defense right there by the Apo defense on the carry there was uh, number two, Jaheem Cole, another player, 10th grader. <laughs> he made a, a statement that. towards the end of last year and he's back this year and look at that. His second, his second touch of the game goes to him. No rush, Cosme kicks it out to him. Cole makes oh, one man miss, it. goes right by McConaughey and he's going down the sideline, the 20. 15, 10, one man to beat. He's, He's in. He's pushed, and he is he should be in, in for he a touchdown. The bubble screen goes the distance. Jaheem Cole, the youngster, makes one move and goes, Nick. How about that? Early fireworks from the Senators. Wow. And I just, what did I say? I just talked about that. Cosme's going to play a big role in this, not you know, hitting the open receivers, not turning the ball over, and right there he hits one of the playmakers and lets them make a play as you see Mr. Cole going in for six. McConaughey looked like he had the angle, but Cole was able to get around him, and that was all she wrote. Quick score. Extra point from Yoder is it's up good. and in. Seven to nothing early here. Wow. Less than a minute into this one, Nick. Talk about lightning quick, huh? Lightning striking fast. They go 15 yards up the gut on first down for Kilby. And then Cole back to back, one on a speed sweep and one on a bubble screen. Three play drive lasts about 48 seconds and they're on the board. That Seven to nothing. 
That was quick, and they didn't even use Parker or Kilby in that. Impressive start from Coach Chip Knapp. You know, he talked about it on the show last night. The last year was last year. We're focused on moving forward here. And they seem to be doing that. It's a mm -hmm. focused group. There's a lot of news on social media, a lot of, of hype around this team. Some folks claiming, hey, now, let's not forget about the Senators. It's been a Middletown and Smyrna world the last few years, but the Senators are right there. Yeah, I mean, they and they, and they are. are. I was going to say, yeah, they are. Return a ton of talent from last year. We talked about three of them. Obviously, Cole came on late, and how about that? Right off the jump, he's the one that gets things going here in this one. That's a good start for Dover when you can get Cosme started there. Now Yoder set the kick. McConomy and I believe that's Griffith. No, it looks like that's a Elite Carter, number two. Okay. Back deep for the Jags. Shocker, McConomy's back there. <laughs> and Elite Carter is a put your money on it. Sophomore. That's correct. Oh, and that it goes, one goes in. off of him and it'll be a touchback. That's a touchback, yep. Yoder's got a boot. He does. Better than most throughout the state. He can kick. There is no doubt in that. All right, Nick. So here you go. Apo's got to come out and respond. It's another quick strike type offense here. See how they respond here. Yeah. You're at home Thursday night. Should feel nice and comfortable here. Oh, it's their first home game playing at Odessa last week, right? Was that mm -hmm. That's where the game was? Correct. So here they go, back on to, or out onto the field first time. Gregory Nielsen, the sophomore quarterback, number 16, will line up in the pistol. It looks like McConaughey's going to allow Nope, it's just a straight gun. McConaughey to his left. Nielsen out, throws it. Here's a first down pass. That's good for first down yardage. He hits Dominic Montebell for a first down play. Nice job by the slot receiver there. Yeah, he got about 13 yards on that for the first down, and it's a good thing to get your quarterback started like that with a quick hitter play. Oh, I think, and, and it, a first down. it could open up McConaughey in the running game if they're able to keep teams honest with this passing attack. Here comes Daniel McConaughey, run DMC as they call him. Tries to get outside, he does, but for very little very yards, little. if anything, if, yeah. there tackle made by Jakai Tillman. Looked like he got right back to the line of scrimmage. Tillman with the good chase down. And they will look to the sideline, Nielsen and company looking for the call. Apo also returns a lot of talent. And right now they're sitting just outside our Super 7. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, remember, they, they won this division last year. Nielsen. They won their division. That's a good throw on time and on target to Dylan Griffith right around the first down yard marker. Yeah, they're going to they're gonna give it to him. They're going to give it to him. Get 11 on that. Griffith, a two-way stud. And how about that? Nielsen starts off two for two here with two first down throws. Mm -hmm. We're going to test this secondary at Dover. We got trips to the near side, including Hoff out here on the far outside, single receiver on the far side. They give this to McConaughey. He's got a little bit of room up the middle and he'll fall forward for five. Looks like he got about seven there, Pat, actually. Look at oh, that. Six, six. Better eye, better eye than I. And that's a good first down run, staying ahead of the chains, Nick. Second down. Second and four. Yep. Good start to this drive here for the Jaguars. There look to Coach Timpson. Multiple coaches giving signals. Nielsen, he drops back to pass. He's looking, he's looking. He's going to go deep for Noah Hoff. Oh. And it's incomplete. Coverage out there by number nine, Christopher Grady. And Grady's another guy who's made some plays throughout the years, now a junior. Seeing some of these guys become upperclassmen is fascinating. <laughs> yeah, it moves quick, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> Goes fast. Hoff, a tremendous talent out here at receiver. He's one of those guys that if you haven't heard about him yet, oh, yeah. you will be hearing his name a lot. 
He is a playmaking receiver here at Apo. I see some of his uh, highlights and stuff on Twitter. Good player. Nielsen takes the snap, gives it to McConomy, nowhere, nowhere to go. And somehow, though, falls forward for about a yard. He was hit immediately in the backfield there by Jaquan Kilby. And running back on running back crime right there. <laughs> It'll bring up a fourth and three, though. Kilby running both sides, huh? Fourth and three, big, big play here for Apo. Trips to the far side. Fourth down. Nielsen takes the snap, flags uh -oh. down. Flags down. It was to Hoff. It would have been good for first down yardage. Let's see what the penalty is. Got a, probably going to be a false start if it's they stop the play. And it is. So it'll be a... Ball start. Now what Fourth do do? and eight op now. Mm -hmm. And there comes the punt team. Yeah. The soft coverage. I mean, they had Hoff. They had. Yeah, they had the first down. Didn't well, see who it was they called the false start on. but Gavin Miller on the punt for Apo. Back deep for Dover. Looks to be number 14, Ja'Kai Tillman. Wasn't a bad drive there to start. I mean, they got stalled out here right there and penalty. Gets them, but uh, not a bad start. Getting Nielsen warmed up. We'll see if they can hold him. Miller nearly oh, blocked. He he gets it off, though. Coming up, making a play. Tillman makes one oh man boy. miss. He's got oh the sideline, but he's tripped up. Touchdown saving tackle there from the sophomore edge, Von Brandt. Yeah, he'll do that, Von Brandt. But again, you can see some of the electricity player. here with Dover. Tillman there nearly got the sideline. Uh, he's got some burst. He's got a little bit of burst there. First and 10 for Dover at the 43 yard line. As the sounds of Ba with the Ba from Kid Rock are in the stadium. Yeah. <laughs> Thing gets me going, man. Cosme takes the snap and they're gonna go right back to the well. Here's Cole looking to read his block, spins. Gets up to midfield, McConaughey trying to drag him. He'll get to about, he'll get though. right to midfield. It'll bring up a second and three, Nick. Yeah, he got about seven with fighting that. McConaughey trying to punch it out. And how about this, a heavy dose of Jaheim Cole. He's touched the ball in three out of the first four plays for Dover. Cosme in the gun, Kilby. Flank to his left. That's Cole in motion. He'll go to John Parker. Wide receiver screen. Good blocking. He's got the first down. And a gain of about five. Yep. We'll get the first down marker. Good tackle out there on the edge by Daniel McConaughey. Getting the ball out fast. Not even giving this Jaguar uh, line time to even get in there to get on him. I mean, they're, they're getting this ball out quick. Yeah, they are. Here we go again. Cosby up the middle. Kilby's got room. Makes one man miss. Oh He's up the middle. Oh boy. He's looking to drag defenders. He gets across the 25 down to about the 24. Jaquan Kilby with the shows a little burst. Gain of 21 and no time wasted. Dover right up on the ball. The sticks aren't even set yet. That's They're going to snap it. They give it to Kilby. He oh. jumps over a pile, <laughs> and he gets down inside the 20 for a gain of about five. Wow, how about that athleticism there? Don't hold your breath, Nick. Don't hold your breath. Coach Chip Knapp now in his third year, and he's had these, these this core of players for all three years. They seem to have picked up and mastered this offense, and now they can start to play fast. There they are. Cosme takes the snap. Reads the end. He gives it up the middle. That play, really not many options on that one. He gives it the safe route to Kilby. He picks up maybe one. Third down and five for and the Senators. If I'm right, that's another Von Brandt. 69, a freshman, Leighton Von Brandt with the tackle. Oh, and he's, uh, Leighton seems to be taking after his eldest brother in terms of the size. The size, said he's 6'8". Uh, they said he's right around 6'8". Yeah. And the edge is starting to grow a little bit, but he's at the six foot, six one range right now, it looks like, the middle linebacker. Cosme. And uh -oh. that ball, yep, that's gonna be a false start there. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a flag. Miscommunication on the snap count. Back 
Back him up. You know, this, uh, this offense ready to go. Third down and 10. It's not too far out of the range, Nick. Not for Yoder. <laughs> Yoder can make this, believe me. Uh, Yoder could. It could. Let's see what Coach Chip Knapp does now when he's got a, a second team All-State kicker at his disposal. They'll go to the safe route. Cosme oh, keeps Cosby it. Oh, keeper. look at this. Oh. Goes to Cole. He's got he's the edge. Out. Makes one man miss. He gets down to the five as Griffith knocked him off his mark. But that is going to be so hard to defend if they can make that work. A read option up the middle and then a, a triple option with the, with the pitch man being available. Wow. This what offense a play could by be Cosme. Something. This offense could be special if they're yeah. able to pull that off. Cosme, first and goal, up to Kilby. And he fights his way and in for a in. touchdown. This Dover offense is looking good, Nick. Wow. How I mean, about that drive? If you drive? don't stop them from scoring right now, it's going to be a long day. 57-yard drive there from Dover in a matter of maybe two minutes. So many weapons. They are just running like a well-oiled machine right now. Can't even catch our breath, Nick. <laughs> I know. They're on the ball that fast. Yoder. He'll come in to kick the extra point. That kicks up and good 14 nothing Dover on top, 535 to go. Got to give a shout out to our colleague Glenn Frazier. He, uh, he seems to be in, in good spirits. We're hopefully looking forward to seeing him next week. He's giving us the guy, he's giving us the, the hopeful, you know. We're, we're gonna hope he's back with us next week here. That's against right. uh, St. George's. Well, and, he, and he's talking to us, and, and clearly, uh, you know, a lot of talent here on the Dover, and he paints a picture for us. So, obviously, Yoder, we talked about, second team All-State. Yep. Cosme, over uh, 1,100 total yards last year, 500 through the air, uh, or I'm sorry, 500 on the ground and 645 yards passing. And, of course, Kilby was second team All-State, over 1,200 yards rushing last season. The weapons just don't stop. No. Parker has a great year. Obviously, Cole's now getting in the mix. I mean, good luck <laughs> if this offense is clicking the way that it has it on is. its first two drives here tonight. Yeah, I've been I've been impressed. They've been uh, completely flawless and uh, running what they were doing what they want, doing everything they wanted to do. That they are Yoder on the kick. And it's a quiet crowd here at Apo. It is. These first seven minutes have not gone their way. Another again, drop. it's a missed field here from the youngster. And they're going to have deep field position at the 10. Yalit Carter couldn't quite catch it cleanly. Good coverage Second there from time. Dover. And it's going to be first and 10 at the 11. Yeah, you got to do something here. Um, you got to at least keep the ball out of the hands of this offense right now for Dover. Run some clock, turn some clock, and hopefully get a score of your own. Right now, you do not want to give this ball back to this offense who is just running on all cylinders. You know, we saw the Middletown offense last week, Nick, and I couldn't help but be impressed with just their, their versatility, uh -huh. their ability to be able to run the football but also get through it in the, in the pass attack. And this Dover offense returning the four studs that they've returned, mm -hmm. Uh, this is going to be an equally uh, tough challenge yeah, to stop this Yeah, I mean, another offense. year together is huge, you know. And now we take a look at this Apo offense, which is, you know, th look, they're, 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 they're no snuff themselves, folks. No. Here's a carry up the middle. Very little there. It's Jaden Glover on the carry. Gain of one. Cole on the tackle. Ah, Branch Calhoun was actually the one who misread the number on the back of the jersey there. Okay. <laughs> want to thank both teams for having jerseys, the numbers we can read. <laughs> you know, it's, That's you, always a plus. It's the things you, you learn to take for granted. And now uh -huh. you see Apo being a little more methodical, letting the play clock wind down. Now there's under 10 to go on the play clock. Let's see if they get it off. They do. They go to McConaughey up the middle. Not much room. A yard, very maybe. Very clear, Dover. And, you know, Coach Chip Knapp mentioned it the other day. Uh, we need to stop 24. That's our game plan. Uh -huh. And uh, so far they've been able to bottle him up. And it'll set up a third down and long for this Apoquinimic offense. Yeah, you, you got to get something here. Draw something up. 
a good play. Looks like they might take a timeout. There's a lot of walking around. Yeah, that's it's economy coming off the field. Making some adjustments. Probably going to go wide here. Three, four, maybe three, four mm -hmm. receivers wide. They're taking their time. They are, and that <laughs> they don't want to give the ball back. Yuli Carter, he comes into the game. Trips to the near side here. Nielsen gets set. We're down under five on the play clock. Here's the snap. Nielsen looking, firing in the middle. It's nice off. Play. Makes the catch. Knee, Knee goes, goes down, down, but a first down reception by Noah Hall. Those two have had, they had the connection last year towards the end of the year. And they take, they, they take right where they left off yeah. right there on that play. Big third down conversion. Keep the sticks moving. Looks like they got about 20 yards on that play. They're up to the 27 yard line. Nielsen, he'll take the snap, drops back, looks, fires, Same caught play. by Griffith. Same play. And that's a first down. They'll get 11 on that. They flip it. The short passing game has worked. I mean, you're looking at a, a four for four day for Nielsen on the short game. He took one deep shot. He missed Noah Hoff on the opening drive, but four for five to start this one off from the sophomore quarterback. Yeah, I like getting him started, and he's been very accurate right now. And uh, hitting that, that underneath player has worked out for them two times. Went back. Oh, there's this Glover. He's got room. He's got a first down and more. He's down nearly to the 40-yard line. That's a big-time run right there from Jaden Glover. And now this Apo offense looking to churn and burn a little bit. Another nice drive going. Let's see if they can finish this one off. No huddle going right back at the Dover defense. Nielsen. Takes the snap. He'll drop back to throw. He's looking, firing, oh, complete. Still to got off. it. That's going to be a gain of five, a good first down play. And the short passing game is working for Apo. That's as good as a run, Nick. Quick hitter. Yeah, it is. You're right. Yep. Timpson gives the calls in. Nielsen will get set. Glover with him. McConomy on the bench. Nielsen back, throws, off, catch, out of bounds, first down. He gets about 13 on that one. They're going right at Chris Grady, who is, again, one of the best corners in this state. Hoff, just a precise route runner. He is. And the timing with Nielsen is there early in the season, very clear. He's got great hands. Nielsen getting the, clock the team to start. set. Haven't got the oh, he's he got out, out of bounds. bounds. Trips to the far side. Hoff alone here to the near side. Draw play. Draw Glover play. up the middle. Is Nowhere. Tripped up and then finished off by number 26, Jalen Peace. Right back to the uh, line of scrimmage, basically. And look yeah. who takes the timeout, Dover. Yeah, Dover takes the timeout, and why not? You're seeing the team in rhythm. Uh-huh. Now, they did just get a stop there. It'll be second and long here for Apo, but here you go, Nick. You see the short passing game working for Apo. Now, they got a little, perhaps a little cute on the last drive. They took the deep shot, and that put them a, a, a down behind, and then obviously the, the big penalty killed them on, on the fourth down attempt. But they go right back to yeah. what worked for them on the first drive, and they've gone from the 11-yard line now in, in a true scoring position here the 29 going in yeah short passing game quick hitters little uh delayed handoff mm -hmm. getting that defensive line sucked in um it's it's worked really well and and it's a good time to take a a, a timeout if you're chip nap um just to stop the momentum from rolling absolutely with a two touchdown lead for dover you can afford to do this type of stuff play some mind games oh a yeah bit. yeah you might as well all right, trips to the far side. Hoff alone to the near. Glover in the backfield. Nielsen back to throw. Plenty of times. Going Going take top. a shot deep. He's got him. Caught. It'll be a first and goal. What a throw. Perfect timing to number 13, Montebell. 21-yard reception right there. Gets him down into the uh, 
And that's goal what, line. There you go, Nick. Short pass game. It sucks the defense up. They go over the top that time. Yep. And Keep that, the defense and th honest. That's what that's what you're talking about when you know um, you, you qu those quick hitters makes that happen. Makes them come up. They get excited, think they're going to jump a route. Boom! You go over their head. It's that smash concept. Outside receiver is going to run the the quick hitch. Try and draw the corner up. You run that flag route, hope the safety, you know, has got to fly over, and, and you can, if you throw that thing precise, you can get them. That's just really well done on the smash concept. And now timeout here by Coach Timpson with under two minutes to go in the first quarter. They really want to value this possession and finish it off with the touchdown. First and goal at the two. Yeah, you, you have to score here. I mean, you're, you know, two yards away, and you're down 14. Uh, you really got to take advantage of this, this – uh, possession here and you got four plays from the two you yeah. know you almost don't want to pull the Pete Carroll here you know <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh how about how about this the the offensive plays right now for both of these teams right now the way these quarterbacks receivers running backs and the lines are holding up man this is a truly exciting offensively game it's offensive fun. game right now it's fun football being played right now Good football. I mean, they've really stepped the offensive, their game up. The offensive execution has been there. Here we go. No comment. <laughs> 150 to go here in the first. All right, they're going to go under center. It's an I formation. Glover off to the left side. Nowhere. Can't quite get there. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. So a little bit of a different look here on the goal line from Apo. And I'm okay with that. I mean, you got to, you know, again, you could, th like you said, it could be a chess match. They, they they do that to set up the next play. You know, this time Nielsen One might thing. keep it, and you, you throw a little bubble screen on the out. I don't see Daniel McConomy on the field right now. It's uh -oh. it's exclusively Glover. Is he on the sideline? Is he, he did kind of limp off a little bit. No, I don't see him. Anyway, here we go. Nielsen under center. He'll go again. Glover bounces it out. Fights in. Touchdown. What a jump cut in the backfield by the running back, the senior, Jaden Glover. And Apo's on the board trying to stay alive in this game. Two-yard punch. Gets it in. And that's what you got to do. And I'm, a, I'm a big fan of that down here with that short yardage. You got four plays. Someone's got to get you to lean forward, right? At some point, so. Well, they do a great job. And now an extra point attempt from Towns. Holds down, it's partially blocked, but he gets it through, 14 hey, to seven. It. What a job there by Apo, what an answer. What here. a drive. Yeah, I mean, you got to give it, you got to hats off to the offense there. Good play calling. Nielsen executed it perfectly, did everything he needed to do, and they come away with six. 14 to seven. And again, with Run DMC primarily off the field during that drive, they go to the air game. Yeah. And it really helped them. And then a couple big key runs there from Glover. Yeah, I mean, I you know, the, the, Completion percentage there was just 100. percent I mean, you got to give it to Nielsen. He just was putting it where only his guys could get it. And I tell you, man, if Apo can again keep that balance offensively, that could really make them a, a team to keep an eye on here throughout the season. Back deep again, Parker is the deep man. Cole Dangerous. back there as well. They're gonna kick this one deep. This is returned. Not wow, much doing. That's not a, much doing at all. That's a good tackle right there yet again by the freshman Donovan Griffith. Another one. Jameel Williams on the return. Another Griffith. Under all a right. minute to go. We'll see what that what Dover can do. Dover leading by seven.
Cosme out on the field. He's got Kilby to his right. Trips with a with a wing back here to the near side. Jaquai, it's a reverse. reverse. John Parker on the reverse. He's got room and a huge pancake block out in front of him. Here's a cutback and he's across midfield. Wow. That was Stevenson getting out there on the cornerback and just road grading him. Big time run on first down. Wow, that was huge. They break off the reverse. And they're across midfield, and now they get a chance to get into their no huddle. They don't even wait for the chains. Same formation. Kilby up the middle. He runs across the 40-yard line. Tackle Gets made about, by Tyler Shane. Gets about nine. And it'll be a nine-yard carry on first down. Again, this Dover offense is in rhythm, yes, folks. Yes, they are. Just about 16 seconds here left in this quarter. Cole in motion. They'll jet sweep it to him. He's got the edge. He's got the first down. There's a cutback. Works his way back to the sideline. Picks up about six on the play. First and ten at about the 33-yard line. That should be the end, though. Oh, he got out of bounds with six seconds left. Sorry, I let the clock run. They go up the middle, Kilby. He is so hard to bring down. That's a first down run yet again. Another 11 yards on that one. He's gotta be averaging nine yards a carry right now. That'll do it. That'll end the quarter. And that'll do it. What a fun opening 12 minutes this has been. Touchdowns and big plays all over the place. 14 to seven. Number three Dover leads Apo after one. Take a commercial break. Come back with second quarter action right here on Delaware Live Sports. Hi, I'm Scott Kammer, president of Soto Concepts, the best restaurant group in the state, and we're inviting you to come join our team. Soto Concepts is a growing hospitality company with 16 restaurants and a variety of other hospitality businesses, all located in beautiful Southern Delaware. We have recently added many departments to our executive leadership team, including a training department, a property development department, and a construction department. We invite you to come live at the beach and work with a growing restaurant group with many opportunities to advance your career. Soto Concepts Restaurant Group, come check us out. Hi, I'm Scott Kammerer, president of Soto Concepts, the best restaurant group in the state, and we're inviting you to come join our team. Soto Concepts is a growing hospitality company with 16 restaurants and a variety of other hospitality businesses, all located in beautiful Southern Delaware. We have recently added many departments to our executive leadership team, including a training department, a property development department, and a construction department. We invite you to come live at the beach and work with a growing restaurant group with many opportunities to advance your career. Soto Concepts Restaurant Group, come check us out. And here we go, second quarter action. And they go right up the middle to start it off over here. And not much room there on the carry by Shamik Morris. First time he's touched the ball today. We talked about him in the pregame. And he's going to get some carries now, get Kilby a breather. Cosme, take the snap, drop back, he'll throw. He gets it to Parker again, wide receiver screen. He slips one. Still fights flag. his way forward, and he's going to gain about seven yards, but as Nick mentioned, there's a flag on the play. Let's see what this is. Could be a face mask, uh, could be a say, hold. Could be a face mask, yeah. Looks like the Dover offense is moving backwards, so you can use your imagination, folks. And there it is. I, I don't know if that's a block in the back or... It may have been a block in the back based off of that signal he gave. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So that negates that. Pass attempt. And folks, obviously we, uh, we can't speculate, but if you've been watching, Daniel McConaughey has not been out on the field here for the last dozen plays or so. Hopefully everything's okay there and the young star running back can get out onto the field. We'll see. We'll keep an eye on that for yeah, you. Yeah. Second down and a country mile. They go up the middle. Nothing there. What a Lost. job 
Apo's defensive front picking it up. Nowhere to go for Shamik Morris. Lost the yard. Great work on that far side by number 58 there, Damir Milam, who's a guy that we talked a lot about last season when we did these Apo games. He is a force up front for the Jags. Third down. And was that 301 yeah, out there? Probably. Third down to 301. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they got a ways to go. Cosme is going to drop back the pass. He's going to let one go. He's looking for Parker. Incomplete. Wait. Deeper than the deepest out there was Yalik Carter. A young sophomore did a good job in coverage. And it'll bring up fourth down and long for this Dover offense. Perhaps this is four down territory, but depending on where they're at, do they look to punt and pin? We'll see, they're gonna take their time, I know that. It looks like, and here comes the punt team. Well, clock stopped anyway. So momentum, so. momentum has shifted, Nick. Yeah, There's a I, big stop from Apo. I'm, 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 I think I probably, eh, I guess punting it still is doing the same thing, but. I mean, I, I mean, even if you just ran a couple plays or got half of it, it's the same thing as a punt, so. Dylan Griffith back deep to return. Yoder, obviously, supremely talented kicker, punter, and he's going to pin it. this one, and that is a good punt. Let's see if it bounces, and, it, and it'll get into the end zone. Nice yes, idea, it did. but it didn't take the hop he was expecting. That's the old coffin corner he used yeah, to practice exactly. in Madden back in the day. <laughs> used to love that thing, man. <laughs> Shane Leckler, unbelievable at that. Oh, yeah. For any of you other millennials out there that uh, grew up on the PlayStation 2 version of Madden, <laughs> a lot of you youngsters that are in this PS4, PS5, PS5, <laughs> PS3 era, Madden is no longer Madden, folks. No. They're at, at once upon a time, that thing was, it was getting the job done. I was oh. sucking a lot of hours out of my life. <laughs> Back in the day, Nick. I, it, it got me too, I won't lie. <laughs> Those mini camp games were always fun, man. Yeah. Anyway, back to action here. Apo, let's see if they can seize the momentum fully here. They've crawled themselves back in. They scored a touchdown. They had to get a stop. Right back to the quick pass game. Griffith breaks a tackle, and on first down, they pick up about six yards. I was going to say, yep. It's as good as a run. Doing a good job. I, I I like the I like the quick hitters. It's worked out very well for them. It's it's a it's you know it's it's a. It's something that I think this state could take. If you have a team that can do this, the deep pass game has become, you know, something that, that has been able to be covered. The running game obviously has been there for years. It's Glover, first down run, what a job. This young man runs hard. How about this for your backup running back, Nick? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, he's filling in like, you know, like he's run DMC himself. Absolutely. But the quick pass hit and gain, has been something that has almost been unstoppable. We saw Smyrna do it during their three-peat years with Nolan Henderson. Yep. He was able to hit the quick screens and quick passing game. And here they go. They get this one off. That's a first uh, about six, seven yards on first down. They hit that slot receiver, Dominic Montebell. Yeah, he's got seven. Sophomore's done a good job. And he, uh, he's kind of cut from that same mold as, you know, as, as Hoff. Um... And some of these other guys, Priestley, Priestley at Middletown. Yeah, that's and what I was thinking. Yeah. Inside slot receivers, linebackers. It's hard to it's hard, it's hard to cover these guys. Nielsen back again. Short pass. Oh, Griffin. Oh, oh is boy. that a pick? It's deflected. Did he get the feed in? Did he get a foot down? Oh, that's a tough oh, play wow. nominee right what there. What a catch off of the bounce. Wow. That's Tamir Darden Jefferson. Unbelievable. How about that? That's a top play nominee right there. How to get the foot down? The wherewithal to get that, that uh, you know, tipped pass, and get the foot down was just just awesome. Talk about an athletic play. Deflects off of Griffith's shoulder pads. Tip drill, Nick. First turnover of the game. And he's able to come up with it. What an athletic play! And now momentum, the pendulum swings Let's back see. to Dover here. Apo was able to hold them last time with the penalty, the big penalty there that moved them back. Cosme, take the snap, up the middle to Kilby. 
And he'll f fight his way forward for six yards. Yeah. He gets touched after one, and the strength and power of that offensive front and then him himself ends up with six yards on that play. Even when you stop him, he gets six yards. <laughs> Under nine minutes to go. He's tough, man. Big time talent. Yes. They go right back to him, up the middle again. Not much this time. Nah. Wonderful job up front by number 56, Jaron Polk. We'll give him two on that. And he'll bring up third down and two. Helmet flies Von off. Brandt. And yep, that's Leighton Von Brandt. He's got to come off the field. Wonder if that young man's going to play basketball here. Big play upcoming. Third down and two for Dover. Perhaps four down territory, depending on how this third down play goes. Cosme takes the snap penalty. That's probably a false, false start. start. Let's see. Or an encroachment, one or the other. I think it's false start. You could hear the Jaguar fans yelling right at the start of that, right, right, right at the movement of that play. Ball starts, there, so there you go. Third down and seven now for the Senators. Mm -hmm. A little less plays in the playbook for third and seven. Dover will spread the field out. Probably look for a sticks and out. Get to the first down. Cosme, quick pass, caught by Parker. He gets upfield, first down. Yeah. John Parker, just a headsy receiver out there. They quick hitch and let your playmaker do work, and he does just that. Got about 13 on that for the first down. He's slippery, folks. He is. And he has been a big-time playmaker since he was a freshman. Cosme, the Kilby, up the middle, oh boy. untouched, breaks off a one, it's a first down run. Full head of steam there, Pat. That was Griffith coming up and making the tackle from the safety position. Yeah, he brought, well, he get was, the no huddle going. He was in the. No time wasted, Cosme again, Kilby up the middle, plenty of room for him, and it's hole. a six, seven yard carry on first down. I mean, he was in that second level after like three steps. That Dover offensive line is moving some people up front. Second and four. Seven and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Dover driving, leading by seven. Kilby again. Again, he's just running. He's not being touched until he's five yards down the field. It's, uh, it's an impressive head of steam he's getting. That's a first down run. Ten on that one, Pat. Ten yards, I mean. First and ten from the 15. Right now, he's just leaning downhill. That offensive line is getting tremendous push up front. And Kilby's not getting touched till he gets to that second level. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. He's already, you know, in that second level. I mean, Griffith is having to make the tackle. He, he's through the line and linebackers. And why not? They go back oh. to him. Nearly a fumbled snap. Von Brandt, the young freshman, is able to break through and make the tackle. Kilby picks up a yard, One. though. As those uh, young men are, are tangled up down there, it'll be <laughs> second and nine. Second down and nine for the Senators. Cole in motion. They'll give it to him. Gene Slip. Cole slips. And let's see, they don't blow it dead until he's actually tackled. And to the Jaguars' credit, they did swarm him. Third down and long here. No gain there, Pat. Right back to the line. Now this is well within Yoder's range. Of course. But is it four down territory? Cosme dropping back to pass. He's going to look to scramble. Steps up. Nice work. And that's a wonderful job. Oh, what a he touchdown. He finds Cole who makes some guys miss. Touchdown, Dover. 14-yard touchdown pass right there, Pat. Wonderful job. What about the Nasheen Cosme? He, slip, he, he slides up the pocket, lets the, makes that linebacker make a decision. Are you gonna, I can run, so you're going to come yeah. tackle me or are you going to stay in coverage? 
Linebacker decided to come up, make the tackle. Cosby just dips it off, and Cole does the rest there. Wonderful job by that Dover offense. Yeah, as a defender, you're in no man's land there, you know, and just, you you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't there, you know. You can come up, Cosby, if you come up, he passes. If not, Cosby can run. How about that hold? How about that? I was just I about to give, say the same thing. Hey, you know Who's what? Who's the placeholder? I got to give I got to give credit for my craft. Ryan <laughs> Perkins, my friend. That's a Pat Garini's hold of the week right wow, there. Wow, there you that, go. That's, there that's, you that go. That is right there, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Goes up and gets it. Still gets it on the block for Yoder in time. Yeah. Extra point up and good. I mean, Folks, I nerd out on that kind of stuff. I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> it's a craft. Not that everyone, everybody used to make fun. Oh, yeah, Pat, you're the holder on the team. Oh, you're the holder. <laughs> that it's is important. A, that is a craft, folks. That it's is important. a craft. It is important, especially if you got a good kicker. Absolutely. But how about that? How about that drive there from yeah, Dover? Impressive. Off the interception, taking advantage of the turnover. Impressive, quick. Work, working it downfield, and just a, that touchdown play, underrated play right there from both Cosby and Cole. Loved how Cosby, he, he kept his, his composure, stepped up, worked up into the pocket, Climb up it, but yep. kept the eyes downfield. Put that uh, linebacker in, in a tough spot, and he made the right decision. Twenty-one to seven, five forty-seven to go here in the first half. Griffith and Hoff look to be deep for the Jaguars. So that's a change. Elite that? Carter moves up. Yoder kicks this one off. This will be Hoff receiving it. The young wide receiver is across the 20. He's got a lane. He gets up to about the 24-yard line. Nice return. Uh-oh. And there's a flag. flag. Wow, well, let's see what that is. is what was that? I didn't sure. see anything there. Maybe it's a sideline warning. Let's see. What, what was that? Yeah. I will see. I we shall know. see, I Nick. Didn't, I didn't see much there. Ball set at the 24-yard line. They call that, I guess, a late hit. Personal foul? Against Dover. They must have, huh? Hoff must have been out of bounds. I didn't see much go on there. He hit him when he was out of bounds, Nick. Okay. You know, it could be a it could be a, a, t a slow touch. It could be a layout. Yeah. If the young man's foot was out of bounds when he was hit, the discretion of the official. Okay, yeah. So 15 yards, that'll give the ball. Great field position. Yeah, now. I was going to say great for the uh, the Jaguars. They'll start at their own 47-yard line. Looking to march and, and answer yet another touchdown. And they got time here. 540 on the clock. Nielsen, he's going to take a shot. That's good coverage back there. And it's oh, dropped. that should have been picked off. That was dropped. Looks like that was... Can't see the Grady number. back deep. He doesn't drop many of those. That was kind of over the shoulder, you know, kind of sh kind of short armed it there. But they went for it on first down. That's not a bad idea. Although he almost threw an interception. <laughs> Second and ten. Nielsen takes the snap. Goes roll oh, balls tipped picked. up. Griffith catches this tip drill. And he gets about nine, nine yards. Dangerous throw there to Hall. Very Hoff. dangerous. And you can start to see this Dover defense starting to jump these under routes. That's where the double move can be susceptible if this Apo offensive line can hold up, which they've done a pretty good job thus thus far. Yeah, they're jumping that. Nielsen's got to be careful on those. But they that Apo staff, I'm sure, is seeing that. They're starting to ball hawk a little bit, trying to jump these routes. That's the dangerous. Like you said, it's dangerous because they can hit you over the top. Third and one. They go up the middle. This young man is running the ball hard. Glover, first down carry across the 40-yard line. Give him five for that first down. I'm liking what I'm seeing from Jaden Glover. Yeah. The senior. Been running behind DMC all, all uh, 
his oh, career, yeah. I guess. First and 10 at the 39. Nielsen, sophomore quarterback, gives it up to Glover. That's a wonderful job, Stevenson there off the is. edge making a play. The big man, number 66. We saw him, he's an impressive lineman as a sophomore last year, now yeah. a junior, looking to have a big season. Nice work there from that big fella. That's a loss of two on the play. Puts Apo behind the sticks. Second down and 12. Nielsen back to throw, good protection. Oh, late rush and a sack. What a job flying through there and he's gonna was Jalen Peace. And I believe first sack brother of the day of running back Javon Peace spelled the same. And they're in Dover. I cannot confirm. Yeah, I don't think it's third be down a and long here for Apo. That's a big sack. First sack of the day for Dover. Yep. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of plays here in the playbook for this. No. You just got to be conservative. I think you, you just hand it, hand it off and then punt in this situation. Nielsen, back Don't to throw. throw. Quick hitter to hit oh, Griffith. Griffith. Darden Jefferson seat. with a stick. Well, that's a good, uh, that's about a 12 yard gain. It'll bring up fourth down and 13. Yeah, fourth and four, that. yeah, fourth and 14. And here comes the punting unit. And that was dangerous there, Pat. There were a lot of white jerseys in that area. A tight window, the windows are tightening up as this game goes on. We're under three minutes to go here in the first half. Tillman back deep to return. I'll let this play clock run down as much as they can. Try to give them. He's got to keep an eye on that back, Judge. The least amount of time as they There's can. There's ten, 10 seconds. Under five. And there's the, the timeout time out. by Coach Timpson. Not as much time roll off. There's 2.29 to go here in the first half. Ah, we're getting an announcement here from the great John Busby. Halftime show upcoming. Mm -hmm. Looks like they got some props ready. Yeah, they got a nice band down here, and Dover's band played before. I love the bands being here. All right, Nick, 2.29 to go. Dover up by two touchdowns. Let's let's just say this punt is successful. It's either, you know, Dover football, you know, no touchdown or anything, no turnover. That's a lot of time for this offense. Yeah, I was going to the say, they're I mean, clicking. Got a few timeouts in hand. Do you go conservative route because you're up two and you're going to get the ball? Or or do you go right at you go right at it? I'm, I'm going after it. All right, let's see how this plays out. He's, Cosby's been good, though. You know, he hasn't had a... Miller's punt you know, is a nice, nice one. Nice, very nice punt. Tillman comes up. He bobbles it, picks it up. No one hits him. And he is at the 31-yard line. Did he call fair catch? Yes. The flag comes yes, out. He did. So he can't advance can't that advance football. It. No. The officials are on it. There's a penalty marker right there at the 20. Yeah, he called fair catch and dropped it. Can't advance a muff punt, right? You can't advance a fair catch. Yeah. If if he didn't call for the fair catch, he absolutely could have picked oh, that up. Oh, he called for it. I was watching yeah, they're the talking ball about it now. that it's punt was just caught my eye. Yeah. That was a great punt. Ah, Apache. A hit in the Jump back. Jump on it. They said they called a block in the back. So maybe he didn't call a fair catch. Either if it, even if he did, it's coming back. <laughs> So again, I'll, uh, here we go. Let's see what the Dover offense does. 2.18 to go. Plenty of, seems to be plenty of time for them. They've scored in, in less. Two uh, timeouts plenty left. Plenty of time. And 
And it'll be first down at the... That makes things a little harder. 12-yard <laughs> line. Pushes them back versus the 31, back to the 12. They got to go to the 80. They got to go 88 yards. 88 yards. Or at least get in there. This is where you, you're on Yoder watch. Because with this yeah, kind of time constraints... You What's his range? You get in field goal range. Let's see. They go Cosme. On the keeper, not much there. Good work there from the Apo defense. It's about a three-yard gain. I'll say two, maybe three. We'll call it three. And this is one where maybe you don't use your timeouts until you get a, a first down or two if you're Dover. Letting it run. And I'm sorry, I forgot to start the clock on ours. <laughs> There's 155 to go here in a half. No particular hurry from Chip Knapp and Yeah, I mean, offense. it looks like right now they're just playing it conservative, just not going to worry about the turnover. You know, you don't want to give the ball back to them, but you do want to get a first down. Ten seconds on the play clock. There's five. They may not get this off. Four, three. They do get it off. Up the middle to Kilby. And he's going to have a first down. So the clock temporarily stops. 122 to go. Let's see where they go now. Do they do they pick things up? They get themselves set. Clock starts to run. Cosby takes the snap. Wide receiver screen. They get it to Parker. He gets outside, steps out of bounds. 108 to go. And that's about a six-yard gain. Mm -hmm. But he did get out of bounds, so that's a good thing. Here comes this offense Stops again. Stops the clock. Can never be too sure. Uh, you, if you you know if right now if you're Apo you're playing no doubles defense right <laughs> nothing over your head you know you don't want anything going over your head you don't want them getting a, lo a long play here so you want to keep everything in front of you Cosme back to throw he's gonna roll here to the near side he's, he's looking take a shot and he's gonna look to run outrun and he's gonna throw it away yeah, smart decision smart. from the Cosme clock. there. And there's a penalty. Oh, this this could be this could late be rough. Hit. Yep, this could be rough in the passer. A late hit there. And Cosme holding on to it. That may have worked out for him. Amari Cofield, the youngster, the junior coming up. Was kind of stuck in between. Am I should I hit him? Should I not? And that's going to give Dover 15 yards. There's um, a 59 seconds even to go. And now Dover has got the ball across the 40-yard line. They're potentially close to range for Yoder. Another, call it another 30 yards or so. Mm -hmm. That's a big penalty. Big penalty there, Pat. Cosme takes the snap, rolls, nothing there. Von Brandt had a shot at him, couldn't quite get there. That ball is caught. Did he get the feet down? Yes, he did. He what did. a job what a by catch. John Parker yeah. right at midfield. Gets eight on that. It was a high throw. He was able to get a foot down. Clock is continuing to run. 45 what, seconds in going. I'm impressed with Cosme today. Right at midfield. There's, Dover has timeouts. They elect not to use them. They do. They got to get themselves set. Cosme takes the snap. Screen. Screen. Is it there? It's not. It's not. It throws it away. 27 seconds to go. It's third and one. Ain't right, a lot of time off there. 27 seconds to go. Third and two. 27.3 seconds to go here. And there is a timeout. Still some timeouts left here for Dover. There's a timeout by Apo. Apo going to want to talk this over. And that's their final timeout. They want to make sure. And this is, this is a smart timeout here from uh, Coach Timpson and his staff. Little momentum. Try and stop it right here. And uh, try and prevent, you know, I mean, it's not even preventing a touchdown. You want to prevent them from getting in field goal range. You know, you don't want to go down three scores. 
No. And them getting the ball at half. Correct. And Dover, I mean, I believe they have a timeout, maybe even two in hand. They have two. They do have two. So, I mean, they've, uh, I, which is why I was shocked they didn't call one when after that Parker catch. I mean, about almost 20 seconds or so come off the clock. We'll see where Dover goes here. Third down. We're going to have trips to the near side here. Kilby in the backfield. Parker, the lone receiver to the far side. Cosme takes the snap, goes to Jaquan Kilby up the middle. He'll get the first down, and he gets down near the 35-yard line. Clock temporarily stops. No timeout taken. 21, and now the clock starts to run. Cosme takes the snap. He's looking. He's looking. Fires to the sideline. Caught by Parker. He gets out of bounds. 12 seconds to go. It's a first down at the 25-yard line. Now, are you going to try for one here and Let's then think see about going where to? where they go. It's a good question, Nick. Yoder or? Well, with the timeout, you could even run the ball yes. up the middle. Yeah. You see if Kilby breaks one. Well, you get 12 seconds. Two timeouts. Again, I mean, if you, 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 you probably can get three plays out of this if you go fast, but. It's going to be hard. Yeah. Let's see where they go. Same formation. Kill be up the middle. Why not? No one touches him. He's across the 15 down to the 12. Time it's a out. first down. Five and a half seconds to go. And a timeout from Dover. So here's, here's the decision, Nick. Here's the decision. Do you even take the chance? I don't, of, of a of a touch of a throw that's in the what air, because if you do, it's got to be quick. You can't scramble. Yeah, you got to like one drop, one one or and two steps, and and loft it up. You almost got to throw a fade here, mm -hmm. and hope that it falls before the time the runs five out. seconds run out. Yeah, and that's it's going to be you know probably a seventeen yard pass. You know, I don't know. I think you, uh, we'll see if they line Yoder up here. I, I'm not. Obviously, you know, I'm a root for the specialists. <laughs> <laughs> what a job by this Dover offense. They were aided by a big penalty. Don't get us wrong. There was a big penalty. But they well, started this drive at their own 10, 12-yard line. They're saying go for it. Imagine if they go for it <laughs> on the uh, chat. This could be a run play and then a timeout immediately after. But we'll see what. The official time is technically kept on the field. So yes, yeah, that's true too. The timer may so run off on a, on our screen. The timer may run dead on the scoreboard here. But if they call the timeout in time and the officials ask to put time back on the clock, they, they will get that. Let's see where they go. Cosme, he's back to throw. He's got to get rid of it. He does. Across the middle. That's That probably should have been defensive holding. None's Nothing's called. They get That's now. one well executed. Yeah, it took well four executed seconds. by Dover. And obviously, the perfect execution would have been a touchdown, but they took their shot, and there's still a second left for Yoder. Yeah, they executed that perfect. Worked out where they still had enough time. Cosme's looking at the clock anyway, knowing where he's at and what he's got. So here comes Yoder. He was good. We talked about it. Last year, second team all state. Snap high, but it's put down. Yoder's kick is oh, up. It's got nice. the distance, and it is good. Yeah, no doubt. Wonderful job. How about that? Dover, from their own 12, goes about 80 yards, gets to the 12 going in, and in comes Brandon Yoder right down the middle. Three-score lead for Dover at the half. And that'll do it. 24 to 7. Dover on top. We'll take a commercial break. I'm pretty sure we're going to have top plays in this mix here, Nick. Uh, Yes. Keep an eye we out will. for that. Top plays will be in there as well. Tally up I'm some start. stats. We'll come back to you. I'm starting with it. With uh, with with some halftime wrap-up and a look ahead to the second half right here on Delaware Live Sports presentation of Delaware High School Football. Dover on top, 24 to 7 at the break.
episode of Concepts. Today we're at Matt's Fish Camp in Fenwick Island, Delaware. Come check us out. Matt's Fish Camp features seafood classics, coastal comfort food, and chef-driven specials that pair perfectly with our large selection of craft ales, curated wine lists, and camp cocktails. Matt's offers indoor and outdoor dining and is the perfect place to have dinner with your family, happy hour with friends, or enjoy lunch at the Raw Bar. Matt's Fish Camp in Fenwick Island, Delaware, open seven days a week year-round. See you soon. Wraps, signs, banners, and promotional items that can help your business stand out from the rest. Looking for an excellent way to convey a professional image? Customized promotional products are the perfect way to target new customers, increase employee retention, and boost your brand awareness. Let the professionals at Cassidy Graphics bring your advertising ideas to life. Give them a call today at 302-326-2412. Again, that number is 302-326-2412. Again, Casty Graphics brings your advertising ideas to life. First State Orthopedic Statewide has 29 physicians at 16 locations. Our physicians and staff provide both non-surgical as well as surgical treatment for almost all orthopedic conditions and injuries. We are specially trained in the current state-of-the-art techniques. We serve as team physician and orthopedic consultant for over 20 high schools, Wilmington University, and many local recreational and competitive leagues. Our doctors are readily available to the local emergency departments as well as medical aid units and urgent care centers for consultation and treatment. Call for an appointment today or visit us at firststateortho.com. I would always pass by Ferris on Kirkwood Highway, so I knew that they existed. We stopped in the showroom. We just clicked, like from day one. They did a total kitchen renovation for us. Ferris was so organized. They were on top of everything from day one. Always here when they said they would be, always on time, kept to the schedule. The level of comfort speaking to everyone that works at Ferris, they were just super friendly, easy to talk to, it was like they were friends, not, you know, people coming to work on our kitchen. The room is totally transformed from what it used to look like. To have all the seating now and the big table, the bench seats, it's great. I love coming home and just walking through the laundry room into the kitchen every day. It was just a great experience. We loved ours. High Five Hospitality, founded in 2004 when three guys teamed up to introduce the Buffalo Wild Wings franchise to Delaware. To date, they operate eight Buffalo Wild Wings in Delaware, Maryland. Also the Stone Balloon and Limestone Barbecue. And let's not forget, Expectation. And five Jersey Mikes throughout Delaware. High Five Hospitality's mission is to operate five brands that serve high quality products with exceptional hospitality. Hi, I'm Scott Kammer from Soto Concepts. Today we're at Fish On in the Villages of Five Points. Come check us out. Fish On is committed to serving beautiful, simple coastal cuisine in a cool atmosphere with a happening bar, spacious dining room, and outside patio. Popular dishes include the seafood stew and fresh oysters from the raw bar. Fish On's recently renovated event room and is the perfect spot for your next event. Fish On and Lewis in the Villages of Five Points open seven days a week, best happy hour around. See you soon. Hi, I'm Scott Kammer, president of Sodel Concepts, the best restaurant group in the state, and we're inviting you to come join our team. Sodel Concepts is a growing hospitality company with 16 restaurants and a variety of other hospitality businesses, all located in beautiful Southern Delaware. We have recently added many departments to our executive leadership team, including a training department, a property development department, and a construction department. We invite you to come live at the beach and work with a growing restaurant group with many opportunities to advance your career. Soto Concepts Restaurant Group, come check us out. Welcome to Surf Bagel. 
Serve Bagel has served the community in Delaware for over 20 years, providing fresh, hot bagels, breakfast sandwiches, lunch sandwiches, wraps, salads, local coffee and smoothies, and our iconic merch. Welcome to Surf Bagel. We're stoked to serve you. Welcome to Surf Bagel! Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Solo Concepts. Today we're at Lupo Italian Kitchen in downtown Rehoboth Beach. Come check us out. Located inside the Hotel Rehoboth, Lupo serves coastal Italian cuisine with fresh pasta made in-house daily. Lupo features plenty of unique craft cocktails and an extensive award-winning all-Italian wine list. Popular dishes include lobster bucatini, veal meatballs, grilled swordfish, and eggplant parmesan. Lupo Italian Kitchen on Rehoboth Avenue, serving happy hour daily and dinner seven days a week. See you soon. The things that matter most happen right in our own backyard. Our neighbors, our schools, the places we go, and the people we know. And now there's one news outlet where our story is told. Delaware Live. Locally owned community-based news. Free to every reader. Because Delaware's future belongs to all of us. Quality journalism we can trust to help us take on the day. Delaware Live. Our state. Our news. Our home. second half action on Delaware Live Sports presentation of Delaware High School football. Number three, Dover visiting the Apoquitamic Jaguars and entertaining first half yes, here, very. Nick Halliday. Pat Gariani's here with you. Very. Entertaining first half, uh, back and forth, and honestly felt like a closer game than what the score dictates. Dover leading 24-7 to after a uh, Brandon Yoder field goal at the buzzer pushes them to a three-possession game, and Nick, I know you, you've pulled some stats from the first half that kind of paint the story. Yeah, uh, you know, right now, uh, Cosme's got 110 yards um, and a touchdown pass. Kilby's at 136 yards with a touchdown for Dover. And then you got Mr. Parker doing it on both sides. He's got 44, rushing yard, uh, 44 receiving yards to go along with one long 37-yard run. And then you got Mr. Cole with 81 yards who – Actually, he's got 81 on the ground and 20 in the air, who really, man, is, is, has been uh, an added source and an added weapon for this Dover team. On the other side, you got Nielsen with 128 with an INT. That's the real difference right now uh, in, in that, you know, one turnover right now with them. DMC is out, we don't know, allegedly with an injury. He's only got eight yards today, so you know there's not something right there. Hoff with 46. Griffith 49, and then uh, Monabel, the sophomore, with 41, and then Glover's got 35 yards rushing and a touchdown. Not off by much in statistics, but your score is now 20, still 24-7. Absolutely, and you know, obviously, um, par a huge part of the Apoquinemic offense, uh, Daniel McConomy, exited early, uh, about midway through that first quarter. Um, and had not has not come back into the game, so they've had to adjust their game plan, and um, you know that that quick passing game gave them a little bit of success there in the first half, Nick, as as the stats have alluded to. It did. Uh, I mean, even on the interception, that ball was in the hands of the receiver, and they just made a nice play, uh, staying in bounds and making that catch. So now you're just going to have to make sure you hold this defense. This this. Uh, Dover offense, and they got to keep running. They got to keep doing the underneath, the underneath, and then getting, um, getting that over the top and try to get a big play. But right now, the short game is working for Apo, and uh, honestly, they're running pretty well too. Since uh, it's been Glover, Glover's been doing a great job. So, you know, just that, in, just that interception right now is you know, looming over them. Yeah, it's, they've done a, a tremendous job. I tell you what, that young man is running the ball hard here tonight. Can't help but be impressed. Looking ahead here to the second half, Nick, Dover's going to start with possession. Give me a key 
for both teams, A, for Dover to hold on to the lead, B, for Apo to get back into this one. Well, Dover, you just gotta run the clock, keep the possession, keep the ball out of Apo's hands. And Apo, you gotta stop Dover, and then you gotta score. So, I mean, the key is, you know, stopping them and getting the ball back for you to gain, uh, you know, close this lead here, this 24 to seven lead. So we're about ready to go. Another game on tonight uh, is another crosstown or trying to become a crosstown rivalry. Middletown playing host to Odessa. And uh, right now Middletown well in control of that one. Austin Troyer six touchdown passes in the first half of that one. Odessa taking the challenge coming up to play the, the big bad wolf so to speak in the uh, MOT area. Middletown High School, 49 to nothing right now is the score mm. at halftime. Kind of fault that. Uh, yeah, you know. a first year of varsity exactly. football for Odessa. Exactly. You know, credit yeah. to them for even taking yeah. on the, uh, the, yeah, the challenge. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, what you know, many in the state, including us, believe is the top team in the state, Middletown. So, mm -hmm. um, good, ex you know, uh, it's, it, it's never fun getting beat like that, but it's an experience. It is. Good experience for a lot yep. of those kids. Um, but that's the only other score that we have uh, at this time. Just went and searched the Twitter sphere. Thanks to uh, Marty Sheehan, the Delaware Sports Debate, mm -hmm. uh, Delaware Football, sorry, Delaware High School Football Podcast. Yeah. Um, His partners over here with yeah, us tonight. John Busby's John here tonight, Busby. exactly. Yep. Uh, they were, uh, he, he, they, they had posted the uh, the score. Um, but yeah, we're, we're about ready to go for second half action here. And as we said, Dover will start with the football. And that offense was really clicking in the first half, Nick. They even got in a triple option uh, yeah. play at one point that was uh, tremendous. They're hit. They're 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 they ain't holding nothing back here. They're going with everything they got tonight. But uh, yeah, Thursday night football here. In the state of Delaware, obviously, got some other games coming up to you. Look at this. We got two good you games know what? tomorrow. You know what, Nick? I, I need you to 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 turn to your left here and grab the foot from out of my mouth, if you wouldn't mind. Apo's getting the ball in the second. Oh, half. okay. <laughs> pay, pay attention, please, Patrick. <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, that's why they were trying to put points on the board. You know board. what, Glenn? You can't get back soon enough because, it, you know, this is what happens when you let the amateur get in, <laughs> in, the, in the driver's seat, all right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's going to be Hoff and Griffith back deep for the Jaguars as Yoder comes on, set the kick, kick this one away. Hey, Pat, we got a little DeAndre Swift action in the Eagles. And then look at Devontae Smith, two catches for 60 yards. Oh, how about that? DeAndre Swift, one carry. Already matching week one I was one getting ready to say. <laughs> I guess the coaches listen to Sirianni's press conference, huh? I hate to say, not to get too far off topic, but I need Dallas Goddard to get involved in the offense. For fantasy purposes, selfish reasons All the only. time, too, though. No, no. We need him. You oh, know, kick as, the field goal? Yeah, which I love that because I have uh, Elliott. All right, we're ready to go. Underway. Second half action. Number three, Dover on top, 24 to seven. Griffith will take this one from his two yard line. Takes it across the 20, spins around, uh -oh. still on his feet. Makes another <laughs> man miss and he'll eventually be brought down to the 21. That is hard to bring down that, that young man. And Yoder has mastered the, I'm not gonna kick with all my might and put it into the end zone. I'm gonna plant that thing right at the one, two yard line and force these guys to return. Yeah, got to get some points on the board if you're Apo, and then you got to stop Dover, which doesn't look to be an easy task tonight. And it doesn't look like McConomy is on the field here to start the second half, Nick. So, again, this is the same challenge that we saw to close out the first half. Is Apo offense is going to have to get creative. Other guys are going to have to get yeah, involved. using Glover. Glover's a senior. It's not like he doesn't have, you know. Varsity like experience. He, exactly, yeah. He's down there. Of course, the passing game is another thing to keep an eye on. Let's see. Nielsen drops back. Delivers down the seam. Yeah, a little short. I see the idea. He was a little bit late to Griffith. Yeah, he was late. Good location, good decision. That throw probably should have came out a half a second 
faster. With Correct. an intimate stride. Correct. But falls incomplete. Second and ten. Trips to the far side. Nielsen gives this one Inside. to Glover. Oh, man, Nowhere. he is flattened. Flattened right there from Rashid Branch Calhoun. Wow, yeah, what a tackle. Young man came in there and lowered the boom. What Third a stop. down and eight. Junior. A lot of talent around this state, Nick. Underclassmen, seniors, oh, yeah. sophomores. Heck, we've seen a couple freshmen line up out there. Von Brandt. Guess what I'm saying? Yeah. Nielsen back to throw. He's going to take a shot. Goes to Hoff. And, and incomplete. That's out. Good coverage Good out there by Darden Jefferson. Hoff saying, you know, I think I had it long enough, but then, you know, it, it's a fumble. It's a beautiful We're route. for a flag. Beautiful route. Beautiful ball placement. Darden Jefferson was just able yeah. to get his hand in there and, Good defense. and dislodge it. Yep. That's just a good all-around football play by all three people involved. Fourth down here for Apo, and it'll be a, it's a quick three and out for the Jaguars. Tillman back deep for Dover. Miller on to punt. He gets this one away. It's a good one. It's a wobbler. <laughs> Fielded by Tillman at the 45. Ooh. He's then stood up and driven back. Yeah. Tell you what, that's a good stick. <laughs> still letting him run. Tyler Shane. Tillman it to the With a good hit, but it'll be a short field for Dover at the 45. Here's Dover's first look at the second half. They come up with a nice three and out on the defensive side. They got good field position here, Pat, on that return. Good field position, and now let's see this high-powered Senator offense. As Let Me Clear My Throat is now playing. Unbelievable playlist going on here at Quinnemick High School. Cosme takes the snap, gives it to Kilby up the middle. This young man is just hard to bring down. He's down, he gets about nine. nine You're right, he does on, on that. On the carry. Unbelievable. Or eight. We'll give him eight. And he's been in that eight, nine yards per carry range. Jaquan. Yeah, like you said, he's he's getting to the second level every time. They go right back to him. Chased from behind, breaks a tackle. And, and he's that's get a yard. yard. There it is. Might have got the first down. Shane with the tackle, but like you said, he fell forward and picked up two yards, and that's that push. There it is. That's the first push down. of that offensive line. Doing a tremendous job up front. Cosme. He'll take the snap. Pull it. Look at that little pop past the Cole. And he's close to first down yardage. Falls across the 25. That may be a first down. They're going to give him. Looks yes, like he's right on it. First down. And Dover again. Marching. Quick, too. Not wasting any time. Cosme takes the snap. Pop pass again. Beautiful throw to Cole in stride. He's down inside the five. First and goal, Dover. Wow. Wonderful job quick. riding the running back on the read option. Pulls it, delivers it precisely in the window. About 23 yards on that. Unbelievable there from Cosme. You know, he's made the improvements. Takes the snap here. Jaquan Kilby time. And he's he is in. in. Touchdown, Dover. That was that quick. That was quick. Work. Senators score again as they extend their lead now, 30 to seven. Second team All-State running back up the middle. Yeah, and that was, uh, I mean, they are just hitting on all cylinders right now. That was great execution, a quick drive, and that is going to be a tough lead 
for them to come back on if uh, they're going to keep allowing them to move the ball like this on this, this Dover offense. Yoder's extra point is up and good. 31 to 7, Dover on top. As the Senators are in control of this one, folks. Unbelievable job here from Dover. 9.30 to go in the third quarter, and Nick, that was just that, brilliant execution yeah. on both sides of the ball to start a half off. Wow, yeah. I mean, forcing them to punt. Good field, good field uh, advantage on, on the return there, and perfect execution on that series for the touchdown. And once again, tell you what, this has been another part of the game that Dover has won is the special teams game. Yoder's been able to pin Apo. Their starting field position has been, they're 25 or behind, I would say, but 70% 70, 70 of the time here tonight. Yeah, Yoder, <laughs> Yoder's impressive, man. I got to tell you, he's got to be one of the better kickers in the state. I know it's early, haven't seen a lot. I know the kicker for Sally's is pretty good, but I think he's at UAD right now, right? Yoder, this one goes to about the 10. Here's Griffith, one cut, gets upfield. Across the 25, it'll be first and 10 for Apo at their 26. All right, see what they got here. Got to do something. You got to get points on this board to narrow that gap right now. 31-7. Oh, Dallas Goddard. <laughs> Incomplete, of course. <laughs> Didn't get the foot down. Out of bounds. Oh, boy, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> it's early, Pat. Yes, it if is. If we know anything, it's early. Here we go. First and ten. Nielsen takes the shotgun snap up the middle. Nothing no there. Where. Wow, what look at that. Tell you what, the wonderful duo. job. It's Stevenson as well as Marquise Sykes, number wow. 72. They were in the backfield. That they were. And that'll bring a second down and 12 to the Apo offense. Lost two on that, huh? That's what we're going to give them. Again, Nielsen back, throws it in a flat, no. incomplete, overshooting incomplete. his intended target there, Cole Temple. So he was well covered, though, Pat. Even if he caught that ball, I don't think he was getting much. Looks like on fourth and 12. Third. Yeah, should be third. Third and 12. Third and 12. Yeah. Let's see where they go on this one. Von Brandt. <sighs> it's a pass and play. He's in there. The big fella. Playing a little tight end. Leighton. I'd be utilizing him yeah, if, I, if right, it were me. He's a left tackle. Oh, he's a tackle, yeah. Nielsen. Underneath. That's well done. And spinning Spin down. and picking up about six or seven yards there was Temple. They got him that time. Yeah, stops the clock, but it's fourth and about four. And here comes the punt team. Yeah. Unfortunately, you're getting ready to put it right back into the potent hands of Cosme tonight. Very yeah. impressed. Uh, it, it, this, this offense has been flowing for sure for Dover, without a doubt. <laughs> Tillman back deep again to return this punt. His toes are at the 40. A little drop kick Murphy's yeah. delay game. No timeout, timeout Dover. Dover. Didn't want to talk this one over. Coach Tim, maybe personnel might not have been right. I don't think they had enough men on the field, Nick. Uh, they were they were mixed up. Um, oh, there's a fumble. The Eagles got it back. Fantasy team will take that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> got their defense too, Nick. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, so Dover takes a timeout there because uh, their personnel just wasn't right. Yeah, and you know, you hate to burn a timeout, but, you know, when you're up three scores yeah, like this. Yeah, you can do that, yeah. Or four scores, actually, yeah. at this point. Um, yeah, you want to make sure you get things right. You don't want to give a, a free play away. Miller on the punt. As you said, drop kick Murphy's a yeah. roll in here. 
Marty Sheehan and Twitter Phil both, uh, they want to bring back the, the, the song of the day with me. <laughs> Told the fellas, bring it on, man. I'll work it into the broadcast. Oh we can have boy. a little bit of fun like that. Look at that bounce. That's a, a really good bounce. Pushed over back. They'll, they'll get started at their own 33-yard line. And you know, Nick now just gives Dover an opportunity, maybe not to show every every one of their cards, but just continue Take to your run. time. Take your time, yeah. run the, your, your flow of your offense, and see where things go. Oh, chicken sandwiches oh, are here. Popeye chicken sandwiches. Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Everybody, I, everybody. I a, you know what? I respect that bow for that. Everybody wants to go Chick-fil-A Chick -fil these days. I'm telling you right now. I don't mind I'll either. say it. Chick-fil-A is more consistent. I'll give them that. But when Popeye's is on, boy, Popeye's is on. I'm not. I, I'm. Popeye's know, is on. It's a 51-49 for me. So It's tremendous, know. man. Here we go. This is up the middle. I believe this is. Oh, wow. He's breaking broke. it through. It's the youngster there. Shamik Morris breaking tackles. As the great Chris Berman would say, rumbling, stumbling, fumbling his way down into Apo territory. About 21 yards there, 23 yards there. Heck of a run. And now. Yeah, Dover again. They're cooking. This offense has been they flowing are, man. primarily all day. A quick screen this one out. This is Cole. Look how slippery oh, this young man, man. is. He, he just danced his way to two yards. Could have been tackled for a loss of two. He turns it into a gain of two. He danced his way into them, them two yards there, Pat. Uh oh! Down goes second down and eight. Down goes Hertz. Sack. Now, folks, the, the not yeah. I was gonna say he's not injured. No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't want to scare any Eagles fans out there. And for folks that are not Eagles fans, apologies, but second and sorry, eight. folks. It's just gonna have to get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Morris up the middle, cutback lanes there. He's inside the twenty, down to the fifteen. The next in line for Dover, Shamik Morris. Rips off another big one. Another 27 yards there on that. Only a sophomore. You can see the talent there. He kind of a similar build to Kilby. Yeah, he's 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 going to be a nice, bright spot in the future for them. Up the middle. Not much there that time. Apo defense was ready for the challenge there. Say he gets four on that one. Edge Von Brandt on the tackle. Second and eight. We're getting in, into a little bit of a dangerous area here for Apo, though. Uh, they're going to have to put some points on the board. You know, we're going to be looking at the running clock if they don't do something to stop this Dover offense. Cosme. Brings the motion man, goes to Jaquan Kilby, up the middle, touchdown. touchdown. Jaquan Kilby again, rumbles his way in there for another Dover touchdown, well in control of this one, folks. Yeah, that, that hurt, that's a backbreaker right there. Another Kilby touchdown. 37 to seven, I tell you, man, it's first time seeing Dover this season, and you know we had high expectations for this group, and so far, they've lived up to what we were expecting. I got to be honest with you. I got to tell you, I, <laughs> I think they're a little better than I expected. Yep. This offense is clicking. The defense has been superb. Yoder has been Yoder, folks, which is excellent, and they are well in control of this one. 38. To seven, it's six seventeen to go here in the third quarter. Yeah, I and mean, you see, Coach Timpson bringing his team in there, and look, this is a gut check time. See that right? score? This was next a, score. This was a, it's a you, run clock. That's were, what he's telling you were them. In this game, it was fourteen to seven. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, things have kind of spiraled a little bit, and right now, it's it's a, uh, what are you made of? How are you going to respond? Can't let them score again, or we got a run and clock. Uh, we shall see. Dover has been excellent here from about. They, they had a little bit of a blip 
They did. They had one or two one drives or two where drives, they got yep. stopped. But other than um, that, they've been flawless. They have been they have been very, very good for sure. The number three team in the state coming into this one. I didn't see this. I really didn't see this. According to our Delaware Live Sports Man. Super 7s. So it's a tough night right now for Apo trying to get that offense started. They haven't, after they scored that touchdown, they, they I don't think they've gotten a first down. And if they have, it, it may be one. Start this half, they've been three and out twice. Yoder kicks this one away. And Hoff fields it at the one. He's got some work to do. He gets across the 15. Oh, what a cut across the 20. Oh. But a nice tackle there on return coverage by number 18, Jordan Guile. That was. He saved that. That was. He, I mean, I don't know if it was a touchdown, but he was gonna. He had another 20 yards ahead of him, or 15 before the next tackler was gonna be there on that cutback. So good tackle. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he left two guys. He left two guys in the turf there on that cut. Man, Jalen threw that in double coverage. That's not a good throw. Not a good read. He's no. been a little bit off on his reads. He has been. But he'll get it. I got faith. I trust the work ethic, that's for sure. All right. All right. Here we go. New quarterback into the game. This is Blake Kachimo. Kakamo, he goes up the middle. That's Glover. Nothing there. Big time stop from number 56, Jonathan Payne. So they, they're they putting backups in, huh? Yeah, so Nielsen. Nielsen's out. Is out. Kakamo's in. Both these young men are sophomores. And this is one of those where you guess, you know, you got another week coming up next week. Yeah, they got a tough St. George's team that just had a victory over St. Mark's coming here next week. It'll be... Oh, one of our games next. Kakamo next. going outside, incomplete. Couldn't quite get it out there. Intended target on the play was Francis Drummond, the freshman. Yeah, it looks like they've pretty much conceded this game, Pat, and you know, putting in all the younger guys. I guess Timpson sending a message to all his starters, you know. Not sure it's ha halfway through the third quarter here. You get this ball back to Do to Dover, man. Kakamo will take the snap, drops back. He's going to roll out to the far side, and, and he's, he's going to get done. Dropped. Coming up and making the sack oh. is number thirteen, Nick Whiteman. Man. Lost, lost about. Uh, I'm what? sorry, that's actually number twenty-three. Mix. Up. Well, we don't have a 23. Lost the 10 on that one. And now you got a punt. You're giving the ball back to them. It's very good field advantage now when you punt this ball. I mean, the returner's at the 40. That's a new returner, too. I can't quite see that number. Miller on the punt. Gets this one away. It's going to take a bounce. And it chalks up there at about the 45. Still good and field. And a short field here for Dover. Short field. Giving it to him already in Apo territory. Ah, John Busby. Busby giving the Eagles a shout Absolutely. out. Absolutely. Why not, baby? We're all we're all Birds fans. No, we're not all Birds fans. <laughs> I know some of you folks are going to get at me in the mentions. <laughs> Stop talking about the NFL. We're watching the high school game. Exactly. You're not getting ripped. You're okay. Dover O-line is no joke, so they're not worried about you talking to us. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. They have, they, the folks are right in the chat. Yeah, they, are they are not a joke. That is for certain. We knew that coming in. Here we go. New quarterback in for Dover. And they pass this one out. That's a little five yard play to Give him about Theodore seven. Cottle. Give him about seven on that. Yep. That was number 22. Yeah, I know. Yeah, That's Cottle. Cottle, huh? Yeah. 
Dover's playing their backups now. Another field goal here, attempt by Elliott. And it's Julian Christman. And at quarterback, here's Morris shaking off defenders, and he's got a first down run. Miss, missed field goal by the Eagles, by the yeah. way. What a job there by Morris. Young man could go. Christman under in the gun. He'll take the snap. Goes to Morris. Up the middle, and he is Ooh, dropped. He picks up five. Well, that's a nice piece of hitting right there from Jaron Polk. Looks like they're going to give him three on that. Not a favorable. Second and seven for this second unit here for Dover. Chrisman pitches it out to Morris. Edge Von Brandt trying to get to him. He's going to grab him, but he can't no, he didn't. quite yeah. get him. It'll be third down and short for Dover. Third and two, Nick. This is four down territory no matter what here, Pat. So they don't get it on third. You can guarantee they're going for it on fourth. There's the signs. You see those, those signs over there. It just reminds me of Chip Kelly. I get a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> oh, in the backfield. Von Brandt off the what edge. Play. Big time tackle to force fourth down. He shot through there. Now it's fourth and six. Does Dover put it in the air? Let's see. I think so. I think if we... Folks, if you're keeping track at home, we've now got ourselves some Ted Nugent being played here. <laughs> this is... Uh, here I am again now, We got the baby. DJ right here on the other side and of us. Uh, me. We'll have to look at his playlist. Just running clock if you're Dover. Just looking for a first down. Christman, nice there it is throw. Underneath. He delivers it on time. And that's that's going to be a first down for number 85, Lucas Nichols. Tell you what, it's good execution it was. right there. It was. And I've been waiting for so long. Stranglehold. I was trying to get to what was the, the song called. I would never know the name of that song. Oh, yeah, great one right there, man. First and 10. Second unit here for Dover. Doing a pretty darn good job. And Speed around. sweep, and they no. can't get around the edge there. That's a nice play. I believe that was Donovan Griffith. Up, oh, it's Amari Cofield, 31, not 21. Loss of about a yard on that one. Second and long. No particular hurry here. Not if you're the Senators. Looks like you got free play. As we are under 30 seconds to go here in the third. Morris. He's got a got wide him. hole through the middle. Oh. Down inside the 10-yard line. It'll be first down and goal. Picked up about 14 on that one. That should do it here for the third. That was a touchdown saving tackle there. They're going to let the clock run out, you think? Switch fields? or I think they, they should. Uh, one one score, one touchdown. And Two. We got to run the clock. Oh, they ran it. Morris up the middle. He's in. Fights his way. He's touchdown. in. Touchdown, Dover. Shamik Morris, the sophomore running back. And what has been a dominating performance here from the Senators. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I'll give him about a nine yard touchdown on that. Folks, as we said throughout the week, you've seen it on Twitter. Twitter Phil, a couple other folks talking about this Dover team. 
I'm sure most of our viewers were aware of it, but if for some reason you weren't, this team is legit. legit this year, folks. They are for real, and you're seeing it right here firsthand. Backup kicker action. It's up and good. And good. Vincent Batillo. All right. Big fella knocking it in. Why not get everybody in? Wonderful job. He's got the boot. That will do it here. Three quarters of plays in the books. We're going to head a commercial break, come back with fourth quarter action right here on Delaware Live Sports. First State Orthopedic Statewide has 29 physicians at 16 locations. Our physicians and staff provide both non-surgical as well as surgical treatment for almost all orthopedic conditions and injuries. We are specially trained in the current state-of-the-art techniques. We serve as team physician and orthopedic consultant for over 20 high schools, Wilmington University, and many local recreational and competitive leagues. Our doctors are readily available to the local emergency departments as well as medical aid units and urgent care centers for consultation and treatment. Call for an appointment today or visit us at firststateortho.com. And we're back, fourth quarter, Apo and Dover, and we are, it, it, folks, this, this will go by quicker. Uh, we are in a, a running clock situation, so as soon as this this does uh, kick off. Just want to make you folks at home aware of that. Um, you're going to see that clock running throughout the rest of the quarter. That's not a malfunction, so don't get <laughs> on us in the chat. I stopped the clock! <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Patillo kicks this one away. Here comes a return. And I'll tell you what, this is a good one it right is. here. From Drummond, the freshman, gets nice. across the 30, nearly to the 35. Well, Pat, unless they score, this is a running clock. If Apo scores, then they're within the 35-point range to make sure this clock does not run. Curtis Martin and Michael Vick are hanging out with Roger Goodell. <laughs> Well, supposedly Mike Vick's got a documentary he's working on on the evolution of African-American quarterbacks. I was reading that on Twitter today. Oh, okay. Obviously, Jalen Hurts. Well, yeah, they, being, uh, they had that picture yeah. with him, Hurts, and, um, and Donovan. Yeah. yeah. Well, good for them. I mean, right. I'll be interested. Here we go. Apo offense back on the field. Glover. He's got a little more room. Oh, oh man. Upend it. Wow. Tough run, In though. In the air. Yeah, he's got about nine, nine and a half. He'll come off the field after that. Tough running from that young man. Jaden Glover, keep an eye on him, folks. Yeah, he's tough, man. Keep an eye on him this year. I like him. Looks like he's limping a little bit from that hit, though, Pat. Yeah, that was a big hit. That was a big hit for sure. Second down and one. This is usually where you see potentially a shot taken. Kakamo, he'll drop back. Quick pass, incomplete. incomplete. Over there looking for Drummond. Couldn't quite connect. Now third down and one. Third and one. This one goes up the middle. middle. First down carry. Got to wait and see this number here. It's good tough running. 32. And that will be Cameron Cruz, sophomore. Tailback. Heir apparent potentially to this backfield. Yeah. This is impressive here from Dover tonight. Yeah, on both sides of the ball. Cannot help but be impressed. Throw this one outside. And that's it's a good pass bounds. play. Well, they're call it in, but it doesn't matter. The clock still runs. Yeah, tough night for the Apple Jaguars because they just ran into a team that just 
couldn't make a mistake today. Up the middle again goes Cruz, and he's going to be close, close to, to that first, first down. down. I don't yeah, know if he quite got it. It'll be third and short. No, I don't think he did. Doesn't matter, it's four down territory no matter what they do right now in this time. Third down and one. Kakamo, quick slant, incomplete. Incomplete. He was looking for Dylan Bacon. A little low on that behind where he had that first down. Fourth and one. They go up Hand the middle. Off. Cruz got has got the first down. Good running right there from the sophomore running back. Good read by Kokomo. Seven minutes go here in his fourth quarter. Cruz again up the middle, finding his way, sifting through the defense. Good pick up. This young man, someone to keep an eye on is another guy. Yeah, another keep sophomore. An this sophomore class around the state so far in our first couple of weeks is impressive, and we're going to have some real, real players. Yeah, that is for sure. That is definitely clear. Must be Hawaii night here having luau's. See that. Started to notice it. We got Kakamo back to throw. Pumps. He's going to take deep. a shot deep. He's got bacon. He Too overshoots far. him. Incomplete. Third down upcoming. Well, Pat, we'll be back here next week. As St. George's comes into town, Apo's schedule doesn't get any easier, I can tell you that. Having to face St. George's coming off a big win over St. Mark's. Yeah, it should be a good one right there, Nick. On the Thursday night Thurs affair? I think it is. Let me Jeez, make sure. man, what's going on with this conference? Is it Thursday night? Is uh, Blue Hen night or something? <laughs> Thursday night's Blue Hen football night. They should get their own conference uh, message for that. The <laughs> commercial. <laughs> yeah, right. Thursday hey. night is Blue Hen Conference football night. Maybe we'll maybe we'll make that. There you go. There's the voice. I just <laughs> did it for you. <laughs> I'll clip that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So I believe. Nope. It's a Friday. All right. We Got do have a Thursday game. Cross the middle. Oh, Adaman uh, overshoots. His intended target, Drummond. We do have a Thursday night game. St. Mark's at Red Lion next Thursday. Ah, of course. This game, St. George's Apo, will be Friday. Well, listen, we have two games tomorrow, Pat, that we might as well let the, let the fans know about. We will be at Abyssinia Stadium as Indian River comes north to face St. Elizabeth. And Benny Mitchell, Benny Naheny, will be at Laurel. CR going down to face Laurel. Two good games there. Two you got a 1A, one 1A yeah. one battle, right? St. E's has been back-to-back -back state championship runner-ups. Runner mm -hmm. What are they? Obviously, a lot of new faces over there. Yep. Um, IR has been in the mix as well the last few years. They and have then, been. Like yep. you said, Laurel, right takes, on the outside. Laurel takes the jump up, don't skip a beat. Now they go play a 1A opponent in Caesar Rodney under a new... Uh, regime under Coach Strickland. Hey, two good games, Nick. Yeah, two good games yeah. right there. It's yeah, an that. intrigue for sure. Cruz up the middle. 
They can't stop this young man. He just continues to plow his way through. We're under four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Heck of a night here for Dover. Obviously for Apo, our best well wishes to Daniel McConaughey. Not quite sure what's yep. you know, going on there. We, I, we can't speculate, but he had not. He has not returned to the field since uh, about midway through the first quarter. So obviously we, we just want to send our best there no matter what's going on. That one's incomplete. Intended receiver was Bacon. Couldn't quite connect. Second down and four from the eight, nine yard line, eight yard line. Get this snap off. Cruz, they nothing there. got him in the there. backfield. So third down. Might have lost a yard. He did. So you go fourth. Fourth and uh, fourth and three, we'll call it. Apo's last chance here to get points. Let's see what they can do. Kakamo fires incomplete. He had oh. a man, couldn't quite connect. Looking for his tight end right man. there, Owen Davis. Yeah, that's a turnover on downs. Dover will take over, under two minutes to go. We that probably got a it. snap or two left in and this that, one, yeah, Nick. Yeah, that'll do it. Let's um, let's go ahead and get get to our wrap up here. It's uh, you know, what stood out to you, and if you had one, who would your player of the game go to? I, I probably would give it to Kilby, who ended up with three touchdowns tonight. Um, but I would give it to <laughs> the offense of Dover. I mean, they are just. A well, well oiled machine. And they looked very good today. They were very precise. I don't think there were too many drop passes or or even incompletions by Cosme. Mm -hmm. He was on point. Their lines were on point and it, it did unfortunately Apo just ran into a tough, tough team who was playing excellent tonight. Absolutely. Yeah, Dover folks. I have to keep an eye on this group. And uh, that should be uh, the last play, they may need to may be need, one more snap, one maybe more, one so. knee down. But uh, remember, tune in to our next our games tomorrow, Indian River at St. Elizabeth's and CR at Laurel. Make sure you tune into those. Those will be two good games. I know uh, both of those games are going to be competitive because those teams are uh, having a good season so far. And, you know, Pat will be – Back down here in Middletown next week for our Buffalo Wild Wings Delaware Live weekly show. We're going to have St. George's and Apo as guests we'll talk about that game next week. So make sure you look out for that. That should be fun. And our top folks. plays every Wednesday night. Absolutely. It's going to be a great, great season already underway here. Thanks once again, folks, for tuning in tonight. Dover moves to 3 0, number three team in the state, dominating fashion here tonight on the road against Apoquinimic. 45 to seven is your final as Apo falls to one and one. They've Up. scored 40 points in each of their three games so yeah. far, Pat. Yeah, and they're ones to keep an eye on for sure. Dover's got a bye week next week. And as you talked about, Apo has St. George's coming down here. So uh, thanks once again, everybody for tuning in. For Nick Halliday, I've been Patrick Garriantes, hopefully We'll see you folks at the games tomorrow night. For now, we'll sign off. You've been watching Delaware Live Sports Presentation at Delaware High School Football. Have a good night. The things that matter most happen right in our own backyard. Our neighbors, our schools, the places we go, and the people we know. And now there's one news outlet where our story is told. Delaware Live. Locally owned community-based news. Free to every reader. Because Delaware's future belongs to all of us. Quality journalism we can trust to help us take on the day. Delaware Live. Our state. Our news. Our home.